So Dorit's still struggling with her break-in. Kyle, you lying heifer. I'm not trying I'm not trying to start issues. I'm just trying to tell you about my conversation with Sutton so that we're all good. And now you gonna throw Sutton up under the bus. Garcelle, however, keep it real. She said, I ain't gonna talk about the heifer when she ain't here. So Kyle's opening a new store somewhere cheaper. So now Erica mad she can't offload her she can't offload her old clothes to get new stuff. I'm surprised you can't find another coot to get your credit cards together. However, Erica's so dang happy that Sutton said, I didn't have a gun put to my head. Erica's like, oh, I have had an ax to grind and now here is my sharpening stone. But Erica, you need to take your anger out on your coot where it belongs. You need to take your anger out on yourself where it belongs because you were supposed to be the black widow, but you got crushed like a cockroach. Kyle, you like Jack in the Box. All the good food your rich ass can afford, you going to Jack in the Box. Okay, girl. I just, I'm not that big of a fan of them. Now, Burger King, I will mess with a Double Whopper Junior with cheese. I can do a McDonald's filet fish with extra cheese, extra tartar sauce. Don't, don't get on me. I like my chemicals. I could do a Wendy's Frosty with the fry, but Jack in the Box. Girl, you got Chick-fil-A. Okay, I love you, Garcelle, but what is this Beetlejuice art you got coming in your heezy? It's pretty, but it's giving me a little Beetlejuice tea. Erica's assistant look cute with that blonde. There's part of me that likes him for some reason. He looks like a sissy that can get shit done. Queen Among Kings in the chat said, Alex, I spend extra time moisturizing my heels when I get out of the shower because of you. <laughs> so Kyle's already at La Quinta. I want to go there. I don't know. I think it would be boring and straight, but I still kind of want to go. Crystal and Diana on the way out there, and Crystal talk about, you ever go to the outlets? Crystal, do you go to outlets for real? That's probably why you're looking so dowdy. But then again, you could shop retail. You could shop off the runway, and you'd still always pick the wrong piece with the wrong cut for the wrong event. She said the designers send shit to me. I, I don't have time to squabble over pennies. Kyle's house look like they be renting it out. Now, Diana is what we want to see on this show. This is real money. Your team goes there and makes the room nice before you even arrive. Oh, Doris wearing Kyle's stuff. She looks nice. I have to say Kyle has taste and style. Taste is knowing how to pick the right pieces. Style is putting them all together and knowing when to wear them. I gotta say though, I wish I could dress like Dorit. I wish I could wear all the label, all the jewelry. I, I would dress more like Dorit if I had that kind of coin than Kyle. I would be giving you all the polo, all the Gucci. Well, no, not Gucci. What would I wear? I'll worry about it when I have the coin. Right now it's Ralph Lauren on sale at TJ Maxx and Old Navy Bottom. Sutton uses breath spray. Girl, get you some mints. You a old Southern bitty. You need to have hard candy in your purse. Oh, Lord. So Messy Crystal gonna tell Sutton, Kyle brought up you was insensitive about the Chip Heifer's robbery. Okay, Sutton, I understand you may be uncomfortable, but your reaction was unfeeling. I think you're gonna need to own this one. Backpedal and pussy pop. Who told you to put this pink sheet on in this confessional? The hair is good. I love the earrings, but just you in these 60s sheath dresses, honey, no. I need a silhouette. And I've seen you in a bikini. You have a little bit of body. Like, you ain't that bad, but you just can't dress for your shape. You got to cinch that waist, boo. You need some padding. You need a BBL. Now, you need a BBL because you ain't got enough ass to get you to next Tuesday. Oh, God, why is Teddy Mellencamp here? Although I got to say that hair, that's a good dye job on that hair. That's a good dye job. Can you carry off the brown? No, but the hair is good. Just on a better person. Oh, we're at Kyle's opening tonight. I guess she's opening it out there. Oh, God, Crystal, why'd you show up in this doily? It's a store opening, not your christening. Oh, God, Lisa Renna. UPS person ain't the look. Okay, Sutton gets ahead of it and pulls Dorit aside and apologizes for, in, for her insensitive remarks. Now that apology gave heartfelt. Let's hope we can move on. 
because I really don't want that to be the dead horse we beat. So after all the kumbaya, Sutton and Kyle is talking and they hug and then Sutton does a stabbing motion in Kyle's back. Because Kyle ran and told that to the chip helper. Kyle, you need to own your messy. You're like shit Ray. Just richer. <laughs> oh my goodness. Kyle's dogs have the spirit of Pete when he snatched that steak. Oh, and the way Garcelle said, we already know. She like, mm -hmm, that's that honky shit. All right, Garcelle, she coming to bat for Sutton. She says, so since we all wanted to chat about her in her absence, let's speak on her while she's here. Kyle said, look, everything I said, I said to Sutton's face, which she did, but did you say I was going to go run and tell that? Now Diana comes for Sutton. She says, look, I don't know the heifer, but she's clumsy with her words and actions. And of course, Erica in the amen section. Yup. Can Erica even afford to be in the amen section? Oh, but now Kyle and Sutton back at it. I was empathetic. No, you weren't. Well, I mean, Kyle, I think you feel personally attacked. But Kyle, you just looking for a plot line. So shut up. Now Crystal going in on the hypocrisy. Crystal's upset that Kyle's now gaslighting Sutton. Uh, Kyle ain't gaslighting Sutton. Sutton was not empathetic. She may have had her past trauma, but she should still know how to navigate the world as an adult. Oh, God, I am not going back to Crystal's fake teeth. When you came into my room and you said, what are you doing over there? Girl. Now, if it was a man, I could be with you, but I'm sorry. Sutton was not trying to get a peek at your pie. Oh, so Crystal says, well, all you girls tried to police my feelings when I said I felt violated because it was some bullshit. Your words gave the connotation that Sutton was being sexually deviant. Your words were assault adjacent, and it wasn't appropriate. Look, you can say somebody tacky. You can say somebody house ain't finished. You can say somebody don't pay people. But when you start playing like that, that ain't cool. That ain't why we tune in. I was not given any under. No, we understood. We just understood it was bullshit. That, that you just mad we don't believe your lies like your cool ass husband. That's what you mad at. Somebody needs to set a glass on your doily ass because I'm sick of you. You are bringing less than nothing because you going back to the, some shit we didn't care about last season. Heffa, please. You're riding on tokenism, dear, and it doesn't look good. I said it. I said it. I'm sorry, honey, if you was white, you, you would have been like Teddy and would have been off the show. You wouldn't even be a friend. I said it. I said it. And y'all thinking it. I just said it. I mean, at least give us a Jen Shaw. She'll do something. Oh, I can't believe it. Kyle stood 10 toes down. She said, did I think violated was a bit extreme? Absolutely. I'm going to still say that to this day. Yup. You know what connotation words have, even if that's not their technical definition. That's a very litigious word. That's a word that can get somebody canceled. That's that's not a cute word to use. You didn't have a plot line, so you decided to use that and turn on the tears. You've been hanging out with White Heifer so long, you do a white tear mimic real good. Oh, God, now Crystal's triggered by the whole thing. Well, you know what? Why don't you fire your gun and get on? Get on. We dealt with this non-story last year. Kyle, your generation X... Crystal, I guess, is my age, so she's a millennial, so that's why she knows how to fake them tears. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you Gen X girl. Oh, God, Erica! We did not ask for the broke bitch choir to come on stage. Did you respect how you treated me last year? You know what? You were lying. Everybody saw you lying. Everybody was sick of you lying. And the other girls just decided to be like, you know what? We're going to stick our heads in the sand like an ostrich. But Sutton stood up to your bullshit. And the truth is you mad at your coot for leaving you coinless. You're mad at your daddy for leaving you destitute. You're mad at your hubby for leaving you broke as a he -hang. Sutton ain't done shit. At least not shit you getting sued for. Do you realize everything you said is proven to be not true? Ah, uh, honey, she ain't say that much except you spent it. Erica said Sutton's the common denominator. Now, Sutton, you do step in it often. But Erica, um, 
You're really trying to deflect. I guess your husband taught you well, but not well enough to kill his ass and get the life insurance so you wouldn't be left broke as a joke. Now, Lisa Renna, I like this wig. This is a good newscaster wig. It's giving me Courtney Cox. It's making you look young. It's good. It's good. It, you know, it hides the neck. It takes away from the neck because the neck betrays you. But the wig, the wig makes up for it. But yeah, you need a little fat in that neck, honey. Not not like a breeze and Gabrissi. We don't need to see Jackie Christie's rings. But just, you know, your neck says I want a sandwich. But it's California. The food's so terrible. This is why I'm so thin. Oh, God. Kyle, why are you going back to Crystal? We don't need to revisit this shit. We didn't want to visit it last year. Tear the passport up. I ain't going again. Your perspective is I'm not allowed to feel violated. It's too strong. No. What it is, is you're trying to ruin someone off of some bullshit. I'm triggered by what's happening right now. That's all. Oh. Goodness. Now, Garcelle, I don't know why you're taking up for this heifer, because you should know she pulling the okie doke. But these are her feelings. My feelings are irrelevant to her. No, they not. But we can smell bullshit. I'm done. Stop. Yes, yes. Please, Crystal, stop filming. Ooh, they giving Housewives of Dubai the 9 o'clock Wednesday slot? They must think they strong. Because with gas prices, we ain't going nowhere this summer. You know where I'm going? Right here. Oh, God, now Crystal's leaving. You're not interesting, so ain't nobody gonna miss you. Like, all of this came out of left field. This isn't a safe space for you. I don't feel good in this place. Then get, 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 get to getting, get to getting, get to getting. Diana, I don't know why you're trying to be Crystal's bodyguard. I wouldn't link up with the bullshit if I were you. I love how everybody was supposed to be cheering up Dorit, but Crystal made it her moment. Deaf people keep telling you you can't feel that way. You know what, Crystal, I would say this. You could have felt that way, but you also knew it wasn't that woman's intention and you didn't have to bring it on camera like you did because that could have affected her life. You was putting 20 on 10 in a way that could really hurt somebody. So it wasn't cute, Crystal. And I ain't never gonna stand forward to stand by it. Well, that was the shit. So I'ma see you soon for something. So tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate.